seventh of Pennsylvania. Is that like that's You're asking right. me. That has to be authentic and real. If you play to the camera, it's all wrong. See, you see, you're screwed it up right there. What's your name? Phil. Phil, what's last name? Terry. Jim. Jim. Last name? Clements. My name is Bruce. Bruce, which last name? name is Peterson Peter, Everson Frank, EU, Everson Frank, ER. It creates a riot everywhere I go. Okay. Nice. My name is Kelsey Williamson. Great. And how old do you film I'm asking? I'm 21. 21, great. Are you from the DC area? No, I'm from Kansas. I'm Sean. Sean, Sean Stingle. My name is Esmeralda King James, and I am the current reigning Miss Astra of Santa Fe Gay Rodeo Association. I'm What's your last name? Wise. Wise. So, would you mind stating your names in the, no, for the camera? Ian Margaret Olson. Lori Grant. Okay, great. And where are you guys from? Alexandria. Uh, Virginia. Okay, so how long have you guys been living in that area? Uh, eight years. Eight years? Wow, okay. So, um, since you've been in the area for a while, um, how have you seen the gay community change in the D.C. area? Oh my god, we were just saying that. It was on the insert of the weekend section. Uh, what is it, 200,000 people are going to be here? More integrated in the community. Yeah. Are you from this area? I Where? live here on uh, 12th Street. Yes, okay. so I'm from the area. So how long have you been living here for? I've lived here in DC about three years now. Yeah, Going on three years. Yeah, actually, Pride was the celebration of my As third year. Manager game, of so. Really? I moved here three years ago today. Wow. Yes. So, have, is, how many Pride parades have you been in? Um, this is my first one participating in. Of course, I've participated. I mean, uh, you know, sat from the sidelines, but um, oh, great. this is my first time ever being in a parade. So. Okay. Yeah, so it's what a lot of fun. Nice. So, um, are you from this area? Yeah. Well, I live in Arlington, Virginia. Um, originally born in Puerto Rico, and I lived in this area for about what, 16 years now. 16? Wow. Yeah. So you've seen like, the LGBT community in this area for a while. Yes, and it, and I've seen a lot of improvement, and yet, you know, some need more, a little bit more improvement, but you know, all in all, it's getting better each year. I think, in my opinion. Wow. What do you what do you think has been changing over the years? I think um, people are accepting us a little bit better. I think um, if I remember in the past, the it wasn't that accepting. We had a lot of uh, protests going on and all that. Now it's it's less protests, more fun. A lot of you know people are accepting us. Did you come up here just for the parade? No, I'm actually with the Ethnic Young Adult Interns Program with United Methodist Church, and we came out to the parade because we wanted to. Oh, fantastic. Yeah. So, so wait, wait, how do you identify yourself in terms of sexual orientation? I am straight, but I'm an ally. That's great. So why is it important for you to be here? Um, I think it's really important that um, me being here is important to show that I'm an ally to people. Um, as a Methodist, as a human being, that we all have rights and we should all be here and we should all be happy about who we are. So you're from Delaware, you said? Rehoboth Beach, Delaware. Delaware. Wow, so what were you, are, you, are you down here just for the parade? For the parade and the festivities, yes. I'm over 18, yes. Got Absolutely. it. Do you are want you... to take a guess? <laughs> yeah, that's fine. It's you're okay. <laughs> are you from this area? Yes. Okay. I live on Capitol Hill. How long have you been living there for? Uh, about 15 years. Are you from here? I am. Great, so you've been living here for how long? Uh, I've been in the Baltimore, Washington area all my life. Really? Wow, yeah. okay. So, why, um, why is participating in this parade important to you? Well, I mean, it shows community, it shows who we are. Um, it helps everyone understand that, that the gay community is alive and thriving in the Washington, D.C. area. It's a very strong and vibrant community. And, you know, lets the city know we're here. So, how many parades have you guys been to? Uh, since 1995? Yeah. Being in the parade, what does that mean to you? Um, it, being in the parade, like actually being, I mean, you, you always, you know, are, pr are proud, you know, of your, of who you are, but when you get up on the float and you're, I mean, and everyone's watching you, I mean, it, it, it's, it's kind of captivating. It really is. Like, seriously, it's, you, you feel a sense of pride within yourself and then you're spreading, you know, that it's, it, I don't, I don't know what to say. Like, it's just, it, it's just a really awesome feeling. Like, and then. You know, having you know, everyone participating and you know being in the nation's yes. capital, and it's really just a wonderful time.
Uh, how many pr um, Pride parades have you participated in? Oh my god. Um, well, I started participating back in 1999 as Miss um, Omega, and ever since then to this date, I have participated. You want me to get really close to the mic? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, where you are right now is actually pretty good. So, what does that mean to you to participate in the Pride Parade? What it means to me is um, I love the how people yell and are happy and are joyful about um, our pride and be you know very proud of who they are and what we are. So I enjoy all that and I enjoy people just you know saying good job you know so, definitely. Um, did you guys read the blade at all? I'm sorry. Do you read the blade online? Online? Do you read the Washington blade at all? I do. You're not from the area, uh, but you have been here for pride events. Have you ever picked up a Washington blade? Yes, I have. Really? I used to advertise the white Washington Blade, but I wanted to find a significant other. Do you read the Washington Blade? I'm sorry. Do you read the Blade? I do. Yes, I do. Do you read it online or that? Um, I do do it online. I, my roommate um, gets it the paper version, so you know it's just like reading a source material. You know, you're just hanging around the you know the apartment and you, know, you pick it up and read through it and stuff. But I do look at it online, uh, more so during the day, like yeah. at work. Uh -huh. You know, just kind of pop up. And what do you do? I work for the Environmental Protection Agency. Do you read the Washington Blade at all? Yes, every time. I get it every time. I do read the Blade. Great. Right. What? Do you think that there's one section in particular that you like, maybe more than another, that you look for? Um, not really. I mean, it, I, I read the entire Blade, uh, but the new section primarily. Nice. Do you, do you like to read it online or do you paper? Both. Do you read the Blade at all? Yeah, I do, actually. I pick it up at um, the bar where I perform, which is Freddy's Beach Bar. Oh, nice. So, come out and join us out there. Do you ever go online to view the Washington Blade? I live in the 18th century, not the 21st. So uh -huh. I don't have a computer. You're the vice president of? Of District of Columbia Bear Club. Incorporated. Okay. Incorporated. Great. So what do you guys do? Uh, we are um, a, sort of a social network of um, similarly sized men uh, and we uh, do things to help the uh, gay and lesbian transgender community. Our main charity is Brother Help Thyself and that's what we primarily do to raise money for that. And then otherwise we go out and drink beer and have food and everything has to have food after. What do you see facing um, the gay community these days besides same-sex marriage? Virginia, we're getting ready to adopt a child and only one of us can adopt. We can't have, we, we can't have second parent adoption. So even though we're both in the house, I'm the only one recognized as the parents. So that's a big stress that we're dealing with. Also, uh, retirement, you know, if, if I were to stay home and take care of the kids and she were to continue working, if, you know, if she died, I don't get any of the, the uh, I mean, even though you've only been here for three years, mm -hmm. um, what you, you, I think you have a pretty good idea of what the gay community is like in this uh -huh. area. What would you like to see change? In the gay community um, here in D.C., um, it's very competitive. Um, it's very uh, career-wise, um, especially being here in D.C. Um, it's, lot, it's very cutthroat. What is something that you would like to see change or more of or less of in the um, LGBT community in DC? Well, I think we need to um, come together as one and not have the differentials of, well, the lesbian group, the gay group, the Hispanic gay group, the African American gay groups. I think we are all one group and we all should stick together and be as one so we can be more powerful in the country. Definitely. That's what I would love to see. Just, I mean, we're all in this together. Like, I mean, if you know, if if being gay is acceptable, then like we should all accept each other and not, you know, not be judgmental, not be critical of everyone who may or may not, you know, agree with you or have differences of opinion. Mm -hmm. So, it, it's it's always going to be one of those catch twenty twos where, you know, everyone wants to better themselves, and a lot of people just take it and they step on other people to get there, and right. especially professionally and career wise. But. Yeah. If anything, I'd like to see change. Just everyone be nice to each other and just, I mean, just spread good cheer and just be happy and, and you know, just, I mean, we're only in this world, you know, like, however long we are and, like, let's just make the most, the, uh, let's make the best of it.